still with this year's award winners. Last night we caught the opening ceremony and we're able to speak with the Innovation Award winners who are working on a very important issue. The Innovation Award was for the DOD Safe Helpline app, which is a, a self-care app um, that allows members of the military who've been sexually assaulted uh, to create a personalized plan and, and to uh, identify exercises that can help them uh, in their recovery process. It's a tool for military sexual assault victims um, that's available worldwide 24-7. They can access critical information, they can access resources, they can talk to crisis responders, and they, it helps them manage uh, short and long-term effects of sexual assault. You know, it's, it's pretty exciting to, uh, to have won this award. Uh, I, some of the people at this uh, conference are, are some of the best in the business, and you know we've learned a lot from them. I think the, um, this recognition is really a gold seal on the mobile app, and it, um, it acknowledges the creativity and the innovative technology, the uh, cutting edge technology. It is the first sexual assault response mobile app created. So I think this recognition from this organization, ATA, is huge. It's huge for us and I think it will help um, so many survivors of sexual assault in their recovery. The Safe Helpline app is it's a free app uh, for download for iOS or Android. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's simple to use. You answer a series of, of questions about, uh, about feelings and, and what you're experiencing. Uh, and then it helps put together a uh, personalized self-care plan um, that you can follow. Uh, and it, you know, one great thing about it is that it, uh, once you've downloaded it, all the data lives on the phone, so it's completely private. Um, and you don't need an internet connection to use it. Um, once you have it. I work for the Department of Defense Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Office and as we were um, looking for ways to help increase reporting we know that uh, military victims would like an anonymous hotline and something that was confident confidential so we reached out to the local civilian experts to find out what sort of tools were available out there and through that we contracted with the Rape Abuse and Cess National Network to develop the Safe Help Line which is actually a website, it is also a texting capability, it's an online chat capability as well as a telephone hotline. I'm the president of RAIN, which is the Rape Abuse Incest National Network. Uh, it's the nation's largest anti-sexual violence organization and we run the National Sexual Assault Hotline. Uh, about two years ago, uh, the Department of Defense uh, came to us and, and uh, decided to partner with us to create specialized services for members of the military who've been sexually assaulted. Normally when people are dealing with sexual assault, um, they need time to figure out what's the best option for them. So this provides them with information by trained, specialized staff for crisis intervention, as well as puts them in direct contact with resources on any military base, medical, legal, sexual assault response coordinators, um, or they can go off base if they prefer. So it puts them directly in contact with that. Recovery from sexual assault is, is a very long process, um, but, you know, much like a recovery from a serious injury. Um, so we need to provide tools that help them at various points in the recovery. Um, we provide live one-on-one -on -one help uh, by phone and online, um, but we also saw a need for something, a tool that, that people could use um, when, wherever they are in the world, um, during off hours, uh, you know, they're serving in the military, their schedule isn't always their own, so this is, this is something that can live on their phone, um, they can access whenever they need it. Uh, sexual assault is an issue that affects the nation. It's um, highly underreported crime across the nation as well as in the military. So our goal is to try um, to facilitate avenues for victims to report by giving them accurate information and by giving them the help that they need because research shows that um, if victims get the care that they need then they're more likely to report the crime to law enforcement and that would allow us to hold offenders accountable. Sexual assault affects nearly every family in the country. Um, every two minutes uh, another American is sexually assaulted. Um, one out of every six women in their lifetime according to the Justice Department. Uh, so it's it's a problem that is really universal, um, and you know we're we're excited that uh, that DoD 
um, led the innovation to create an app like this, and I think that um, we're going to see that it's going to, in the long run, it's going to help not only members of the military, but this kind of technology is going to help civilian populations as well. And we're doing a lot to make sure that the military members are aware of the Safe Helpline and the resources that are there.